Hey Sanipi people, how are you? So today I'm going to discuss about problem number 9.26 grade 12 physics NCRT textbook textbook ray optics problem. Now here this is a very beautiful problem in which a person was already suffering from myopia nearsightedness that means he could not see the far away objects and as he grew old he could not also see the nearby objects. So now the doctors gave him the proper spectacles in which he could view the far away objects things also and the nearby objects also. So now basically he is wearing the glasses of both the focal lengths. So before starting the problem let's analyze the situation first. Over here we have we have a normal eye. So this is a normal eye and for normal for normal eye the near point is at a distance of 25 centimeters that is what we call it as a least distance of distinct vision you can take this distance from the center of the lens also or from the eye also that's totally fine now the far point for the human eye a normal human eye is infinity that means if you bring an object near then the near point that means if the distance between the object and the eye falls below 25 centimeters then the eye would not be able to see that object very clearly and beyond the normal point that is beyond this distance 25 centimeters till infinity the normal human eye can visualize all things very clearly and the image will be formed on the retina so if you bring the object more closer than 25 centimeters then it becomes difficult for us to see the object so for normal human eye the normal near point is 25 centimeters and far point is infinity that means we can see the objects till infinity so infinity to the near point 25 centimeters is the distance in which if an object is placed our eye can form the image on the retina very well but now what is the problem here people that if this person this person was like in his say 30s he was young and at that time he was having myopic eye that means he was not able to see the objects at infinity so when he tried to see try to saw the things which were at infinity the image was formed here so all rays were converging before retina that is what is called myopia so doctors gave him a lens now the lens used for the correction of this disorder was a concave lens. Now guys listen to me carefully how I do this problem and how I am solving over here. So all the rays which are coming parallel without this lens all the rays were converging by this converging lens over here before retina so he was not able to see the things clearly. But now this diverging lens is going to diverge these rays now this converging lens is going to converge all the rays to the focus now with these spectacles with this spectacles he is able to see the image because now the image is formed on the retina correct now for the lens I can use the lens equation 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now since this lens is placed very close to the human eye so this distance d is negligible so we can neglect this correct so for this lens the object is at infinity right and the focal length of the lens given by the doctor is already prescribed this is minus 1d that is the power right so if power is minus 1d then focal length is equal to 1 upon minus 1d and 1 upon d is meter so this is 1 meter upon minus 1 that is equal to minus 100 centimeter so the focal length of this lens is minus 100 centimeter which is what I am going to use it over here since this is a diverging lens the focal length is negative that is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon he for this lens the image the object is at infinity and 1 upon infinity is 0 so which turns out to be v is minus 100 centimeters now it's very interesting 
to understand what is this. So if for this lens, for this lens if the object is at infinity, where is the image? Image will be produced at the back side over here which is the focus of this lens and the far point of this eye. Listen to me very very carefully guys. So now this is the point beyond which this person cannot see without this lens. So ideally if you remove this lens, this is nearsightedness. So till this distance only, this is near point, say this is 25 centimeters and this is say 100 centimeters. So beyond 100 centimeters he can't see. So that means the focus of the lens must fall on the far point of this human eye. Now what happens? For this lens, the object is this. So the image for this behaves as the object for this. Now since the object is on the far point, so the image will be at the retina and he can see this object very well. See image, object at infinity, its image over here. Now this image will behave as the object for this and finally its image will be formed over here. So anyhow we are bringing the scene from infinity over here. Now this image will behave as the object for this lens and finally the final image is formed over here so everything goes well, defect is cured. So what is the logic behind this? The logic is the focus of this lens must be at the far point of this myopic eye. So that means beyond 100 centimeters if you don't put this person won't be able to see without the spectacles beyond 100 centimeters without spectacles this person can't see now which spectacles he is able to see even the objects at infinity because object at infinity its image is formed here that image behaves as the object for this lens and finally for this lens the image is formed over here done right because these rays comes to be appearing from here so final image is formed over here and everything is sorted out. But the problem is when this person grows old, the near point which was over here is now shifted in this direction. So now he is not even able to read the newspaper properly by keeping the newspaper at 25 centimeters. Now he has to bring the newspaper quite far away from the near point. So here his near point has also shifted back and the far point has also come forward so his range of vision is you know it's it's very narrow range so we need to find that distance right that near point and if and the problem is that this person wants to news to read the newspaper by keeping it over here at the because at the near point because nobody would like to read the newspapers by keeping newspaper far away so he expects the doctor to give him some spectacles by which he can see the object, he can read the newspaper even at 25 centimeters. Without spectacles, not possible. So what does doctor do? Doctor says, okay, you keep the object at 25 centimeters, no issues, and I'm going to give you a lens that is convex lens. Now, from this lens, from the object, this, that is the newspaper, the rays will be like this. So this ray, instead of getting, you know, going like this, it will be converged, bit converged and finally this lens is going to still converge and the image is formed over here. In absence of this lens, in absence of this lens, if the person reads the newspaper at 25 centimeters, the image will be formed behind the retina. So now the problem is being sorted out over here right and this focal length this this uh, lens which the doctor has given him has power of plus 2 diameter now if you ask me that where is the object for this lens here where is the image for this lens so if I extend this ray backwards this is the image and this image falls at the new near point this is the new near point of this person's eye because his earlier near point was here now it has shifted over here so idea is he should be reading the newspaper by keeping it at 25 centimeters but the image of that newspaper should be formed over here for this lens now this image would behave as a 
object for his eye lens and finally the proper image is formed over here so now let's do the calculation 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u so now the object distance 1 upon now since the power is plus 2d so focal length is 1 upon power that is equal to 1 upon plus 2d now focal length 1 upon d is 1 meter upon 2 this is 50 centimeters so the focal length is plus 50 and 1 upon v that is is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon object distance is minus 25 centimeters so that means this becomes 1 upon 50 minus 1 upon 25 is equal to 1 upon v so if i solve this this is 1 upon 50 minus 2 upon 50 that is 1 upon v and finally v is equal to minus 1 upon 50 centimeters so v is equal to 50 centimeters and that to negative negative means the near point has shifted 50 centimeters away from the lens so earlier the near point was at 25 centimeters now the new near point is still 25 meters far away from the old near point or it is at a new position of 50 centimeters away from the lens so hopefully guys you have understood the explanation please comment if you have any doubts